come on, don't spin out of control again. Jesus, look at this. We're lit. It's, this is a way to drift an airline. But it's something that we all know is that when an airplane loses its vertical stabilizer like this, it usually ends extremely badly. I mean, we all know American Airlines Flight 587, where kind of, you know, pilot-induced over-oscillation of the rudder ended up in the whole vertical stabilizer practically just falling off. And the plane immediately crashing into the middle of New York. We all know about the Japan Airlines Flight 123 also crashed because of the vertical stabilizer having been ripped off. And everybody, in today's video, it's about time that we do some experimenting around. Yes, have you ever asked the question, well, how much vertical stabilizer does the 747-200 really need in order to stabilize the z-axis of the airplane? I mean, obviously that's what it does. I mean, we will find out later exactly what happens when the whole thing is missing. But we will most probably end up flying like this and then dying. You know, perfect analysis. Yes, everybody, it is about time I'm going to use my plane making skills to maybe cut some part off. Yeah. Yes, everybody. Oh, well, this, this is great modeling. But everybody, yes, we've cut a small part of the vertical stabilizer of the 747-200. You may ask now, how, oh, how, Swiss, how would that happen? Maybe a ground collision with a dinosaur, a, a ninja. Come on, all is well now. The 747 should be able to fly still. Of course, everything is kind of modeled also, of course, physically. Here we go, 120 knots right there. We should be able to rotate this plane quite normally. I think it should be able to fly somewhat well. Come on, take off. Yes, beautiful tilted landing gear. Let's get the landing gear up right there. Looking great. Something that, of course, still kind of works is the rudder. It's just a lot smaller now. I'm trying to find out now, can we already feel a little bit of the difference with practically at one quarter of the whole vertical stabilizer missing? Does the plane fly unstable? Can we see how it corners? Kind of take it on a racetrack. And you know what? I can. I think I can already feel it. We're not like in like a dangerous kind of flight situation. But if you look from behind the airplane when you enter a corner where it's a lot of vertical stabilization that needs to be done, you see the plane kind of, yeah, do you notice that? Maybe I'm just delusional as well. We might need a little bit more damage to a vertical stabilizer. Maybe it's a little bit macabre to use the 747-200, I just realized. It doesn't matter. Yeah. How about we go from this to this? Yes, everybody, the Trans World Airlines is disappearing like it is in real life on her tail. And now, I swear, I mean, we must be able to feel a difference now for sure. Let's maybe see if we can take out with the 747. Once again, I don't know, like this half-ripped off vertical stabilizer very seldom to happen i think we're kind of glad about that once again maybe a giant ninja would have taken their katana and just cut this off very uncleanly i wanted to like make it like a ripped look so that like kind of looks ripped off doesn't look great does it good modeling swiss come on here we go we've got enough speeds 160 knots you should be able to take off without any issues. Does the 747 fly or will we cry because we die? Should be a songwriter. There we go. Crashing through some trees. We are able to fly quite well. It's a weird, a bit of a weird sensation. You can see the airplane's kind of wobbling around more than it should. We're now flying at zero knots of winds. No components there. And I don't really trust the airplane. It feels as though as if we entered a turn, then we would definitely not survive it. Yeah, check it out. Airplane is kind of sweeping to the side a little bit. At least some of the rudder still works. <laughs> it's great. It doesn't have a lot of effect. Airplane doesn't crap very well anymore, I guess, in a crosswind landing. But actually, you know what? This thing actually is still able to fly somewhat. I'm honestly a little surprised. Ah, uh, you can see. You can see some wobbling. That's exactly what I meant. The lack of stability here on the Z-axis. That's exactly what I thought was going to happen. Definitely, if we were in the cockpit now, you would definitely feel this wobble. That is so weird. You would definitely think, oh, we're about to die. There's no more stabilization. Can we try to return back to the airport after having half of our tail ripped off? Yes. You're doing well, 747. All right. Runway is down there. Dear passengers, you may have heard a loud bang that was just it was just uh it was not the vertical stabilizer don't, don't worry about it all righty runway down there this should be totally doable all right there you go a little very fast not very stable of a landing very late as well uh, but there we go 
We should be able to stop now without any issues. Just a little, little wobbling around. This is all fine. I think I'd be rather worried about the structural deficiencies that come now with the half of the vertical stabilizer being, you know, ripped off. Obviously, with the thing looking like that, it looks like it could literally completely fall apart any second. But there we go. We've made it. Quite barely. Yes, everybody. How far can we go? Hmm. Maybe like this? Yes. Who needs TWA and who needs rudder? Ah, that's a huge rudder surf. All right, this right, we're definitely now going to be in trouble. I, I really doubt that this plane is going to fly properly now. All right, are you ready, uh, 747? Are you ready uh, to do this? Are you feeling good? Yes. All right, there we go. We are at 200 knots. We should be able to fly properly now. There we go. Beautiful. Till the landing gears come up and we crash into some trees. Come on, time to put the landing gear up. And the plane does fly properly, which is, you know, quite normal. I mean, Japan Airlines Flight 123 also flew for a few minutes. It had a little bit of vertical stabilizer still on, but I think once we enter a bit of a turn, we might be in a lot of trouble. Let's go an outside view again. And, um... You know what? I'm not very delighted to say this, but the plane does fly still. It's, it's not, we're not dying. How does it do that? It flies pretty much as, well, kind of bad as our situation before. Okay, I mean, we gotta say there was also B-52 that had pretty much no vertical stabilizer that also landed safely. But we had, we still had a little bit. I guess we need to uh, improve this even further. Yes, everybody, now I got a clean shave going on and all that. Let me see if the airplane still flies. I wouldn't trust myself to do it a proper turn now come on oh 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 oh, oh no, no no now we're in trouble now we're in trouble now we're that's exactly what i'm we've got a jl airlines classic we are dead since you know as soon as we entered a turn it lost vertical stabilization all right that took a bit of a while all right oh uh, you know okay there you're dead we're completely dead for the first time, I'm kind of glad. Yeah, to be honest, I was kind of worried for a bit that I did, you know, the modeling wrong or something. Now we're in a lot of trouble. It almost looks like this plane was now built without the vertical stabilizer. I do want to see, are we in any way able to fly it if we do fly it very carefully without making any turns, without anything? I mean, once again, we do have the hump that appears to be helping us a little bit. I mean, yes. I mean, it must do. It's quite a tall fuselage. It's not as round as maybe like an A320 at all. So that must help a little bit. Come on now, 160 knots. Let's go ahead and depart out of the airport of Princess Diana. Come on, you should be able to do it. Take off. Yeah. As long as we just pull up. All right, yeah, yeah, yeah. We can see some drifting happening. Drift is happening. Drift is happening a lot. We've got no traction. We are dead. And we've got no ru I wanted to pull in rudder here, but that obviously hasn't worked very well. All right, crash into a mountain. Everybody, we sure learned today that, yes, you should always check your empennage for any damage. Ah, uh, for any damages. Please, come on, don't spin out of control again. Jesus, look at this. We're li it's, this is a way to drift an airline. You know what? Maybe we can come up with new possibilities. But yes, it's like genuinely deadly if you lose your vertical stabilizer as much as it is if you lose your horizontal one. Maybe it's time to test that in a, a later video. So everybody, thank you guys so, so much for what? It's so dead. The flight simulator has crashed. That's great. Thank you so much for watching this video, and I'll see you guys tomorrow as always. Good night. And a special thanks goes out to my members, my supporters, <laughs> Guns Killer, R27, James Deram, That Dude, Anime Gods of Gaming, Derek, Insider Plane, Nishitsu Finer, Professional Jamal, Ryland Williams, and New the York. You've got beautiful names.